Hello and welcome guys. It's about time. We're back playing some Trove and doing another Cornerstone tutorial. And today what we're going to be working on is a Soul Shaker. I don't know why. I just said, oh look, I always thought Soul Shaker would be kind of cool. So I decided, oh, let's build us a Soul Shaker. So there's multiple parts to this. And basically... I've got the outline of what it's going to look like right here. As you can see, um, it's one block in from the sides. You go over by two, go over by two, and then eight blocks this way, one from the side, and so forth. Uh, same thing on all sides. So what we're going to do today is there is multiple parts to this. And let's go ahead and get our blocks that we're going to be using as you can see it's basically what we're going to be using is white glass white just plain old white um, charcoal and some gray glass and i'll show you all this stuff in just a moment so let's go ahead and get, get started we're going to start with our glass and i guess we can just go ahead and start from this side and we're going to go up uh, 19 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen and that is how high this thing is going to be well it'll be a little bit higher than this but this this is the basic outline for this so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is do all this over here so that we can get a basic layout of this because I don't think we're tall enough to hit the very top of this see yep so we're gonna to have to go up just a tad so we're gonna go ahead and make our way around here but I always like to have one spot where it shows me how high I have to go on a build or something like this. That way it doesn't throw me off. Like if I was going to start each one on the bottom here and then I'd have to go down and count if I lost track or something like that. But this way it's so much easier to have a base area to start with. And some of these are quite um tedious like these little corners and whatnot but the best way I, f I feel to uh, on doing this is just to go spam click and go up to our our base area right here which is need one more just like that until we get, go all the way around It's a bit a bit tedious when you have to build something like this. And I think I might have overdid this side. Yep. So we're going to have to go. Oop. And hopefully you guys have enough jump to get up to the top once we get this going. And we can go like that. Be nice if we could go all the way to the top from the bottom, but there has to be some kind of limitations there. There we go. Now, sorry about all the racket outside. It seems like uh, 
Everybody's deciding to take my street to turn around and drag race and whatnot today. There we go. Go up again. Shouldn't take you too, too long. I'm going to go ahead and do one side. And then you guys can go ahead and pause it until you get your your sides done and then we'll continue on to the next part one more there we go there we go let's go ahead and go down one more get this side There you go. And this is what one side should look like. And it looks like a, I missed a spot, doesn't it? No, it doesn't look like it from, doesn't that look like I'm missing something? Wow. Okay. But you guys got, get the idea. Uh, go ahead and go around. Get up there 19 blocks high. And once you get done, go ahead and hit play. And we'll continue from here. So we'll be right on back. Okay guys, we're back and hopefully you had no problem. As you notice, some directions you look, you might see a bit of, I don't know, shadows or glitches or something. Those should go away eventually. But we're going to go to the second stage of this project. And it is basically, we're going to go count, we got to put a doorway in here. One, two, three, and then we're going to cut this out right here. too high but that is totally up to you if you want to go too high or not it's up to you and we're gonna go ahead and switch to our white now on the white here there's a couple things we're gonna do here um, we're gonna sporadically just do this and go to our glass put block there go back to our our white go up a few more hit four you don't technically have to do this but it's going to give it uh, somewhat of a salt look I guess you could say and we're going to go all the way up to here and eventually once you have all these in here you'll see what I mean about having just and you're, you're going to want to put these in in different locations it doesn't have to be so much of it just every once in a while there's going to be like a little piece and you can actually put a lighter gray in here if you would like um, but I, th I, th I think once you get all all the little bits and glass in there probably a darker glass probably wouldn't hurt either I am using the gray glass, but for right now, this is good. Um, but you're going to want to completely fill the, the whole inside here. Let's go ahead and put another one in here. Switch back. And like I said, you don't, you, you don't have to put that many in there. Just one every once in a while. We'll do it. We'll go ahead and go up. Put one in here. And if you wanted to, you, you could just completely do white. Just like totally white in the inside to make it look like a salt shaker. And then you're going to go over here. Put one there. Make sure we get the right one. Boom. Go down here and continue. There, go back. But you kind of get the idea. This is basically our second step of what we're going to be doing. Is just filling this in and gradually putting little uh, um, bits and salt shaker ish stuff in there 
you kind of get it. Just switching back and forth, place one here, place one there, Tor kind of little thing. Just like so. And I'll go ahead and show you. We'll get one side done just like we did before. Whoops. Pushed the wrong button. That's that's not what we want. There we go. We're getting there, guys. Put one... like so and we're almost done with the other side and what once you get this all filled in the little holes and stuff in there will look more realistic because the back side will have the white in there and whatnot but right now let's get this done so we can move on to the the next stage go let's go ahead and put a block here switch it boom go up same thing looking good looking good guys before too long you'll be done There we go. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the front. As you can see, we got little specks and stuff all over the place. Okay, so it's your guys' turn. Go ahead and pause this and we'll get to the next stage. And I'll go ahead and finish this up and we'll get to the next part of our little project here. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, time. we're back once more. We've got all this done. Hopefully you had not too big of an issue with this. And like I said, this is just optional. You don't have to go in and do this. You can you can customize it any way you want. You can actually put darker ones in here, regular blocks. It doesn't be glass. I just thought it was like a nice little different look for a salt shaker filled with salt. But we're going to get up top of here. Hopefully you can jump all the way up top of here. Hopefully. And then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and switch back to our glass. Let's go ahead and remove this because we don't need that anymore. That's our dark gray. So we're going to go ahead with our glass once more. And we're going to outline the top of this right here with our glass. We're going to go ahead and put all the way around, just like so. There we go. One over here. Oh, try not to fall off like I always do. There we go. Put one block there. One all the way across here. Like, come on. There we go. Sometimes it gets kind of hard seeing this stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and switch back to our white and go on the inside of here, which is not too hard. Just like so. Oh. And like I said, it gets a little tricky seeing up here with this glass and whatnot. But hopefully you guys don't have too much trouble with this there we go now we got that now on top of this we're gonna go ahead on our white right here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go stick our gray we can start start working with our gray we're gonna stick that right on top of there like so come on there we go same thing over here
Come on, there we go. And it should just look like a, a regular box because we're just cover, covering the white, the top part of the white right there. So it should look like that. Now the next thing I want you to do here is, I want you to just put a block here, it could be temporary. Um, actually, let's, let's, because I, I kind of rather do it on this part of it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take that out. It's probably, probably a little bit safer to do it right here on this side. So just put one right here for now. And then we're going to go, go ahead and place a block right here. And we're going to bring this all the way across here like so. And like I said, that block is just temporary. Um, need one over here also to cover that spot right there. Go ahead and take take that one back out. I'm going to need this one over here. So we can do this. Go ahead and put another one right here. And then you don't have to take these ones. You, you don't have to put, pick those back up. Oops. Yeah, there we go. And basically we're just making a little box around the outside of the gray that we just already did. And again, try not to fall over <laughs> like oh, I always seem to do. Put one right here. And that's just so we can place around the outside here. I hope I'm not confusing you too much, but once you get this on here, it'll be a, a bit easier to see. And like I said, these ones that are sitting on top of here, you don't have to remove them because they're going to be covered up anyway. And there we go. We got our second part of this done. So the next thing we're going to want it to do, we're going to go from that, we're going to want to go up, uh, I would say one, two, three, four more. So, yeah, I, th I think four would do it. Let's go up one, two, three, and four. Let's make sure one, two, three, and whoa, four. <laughs> Okay, so we can go ahead and set on the inside of here and do this a little bit differently. One, two, three, four. You guys can fill this in any way you want. I just think it's a lot easier from the top here. Even though I missed. Whoosh. Just like so. There we go. Step back so we can get that. And we'll go up again. One, two, three, and four. Just like so. And we can do it. You can fill this in any way you want. Uh, one, two, three, four. Like I said, it's all up to you how you guys do your, how you fill in or, or whatnot. Oops. Wow, that's horrible. Okay. Two, three, and four. There we go. We're almost done, guys. We're at the finishing stages of the salt shaker. Um, one, two, three, and four. Let's go over here. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And we can go down this way and fill it in over here like so. Just giving you some different options that we can actually fill this all in. 
There we go. And of course, it's nighttime, so this dark stuff is going to be even harder to see. But we'll get there, guys. Next stage is we're going to go ahead and um, fill in the top of this thing, shall we? Uh, but before we do this, there's a, a little bit I would like to add to this to bring this out just a tad bit more. Don't know if you guys see this too much, but we're going to go up from here all the way across one from the the edges we're going to go ahead and pl place that here as soon as the daytime comes about and we get more go one up from there this gives it a little bit more of a a 3d look vibe i guess you, you could say it's just not so flat go and if it wasn't so dark you guys could see this a little bit better I really wish that in club worlds you could set set the time to be uh, daytime all the time oops and one up boom go all the way across like so and as you can see it's a little bit easier now that we have some light This is not too hard of a project on the side here. It's just nighttime, like I said, it's hard to see. Basically, we're just creating a little rectangle for the inside of this and try not to fall like I always do. There we go. Do this again over here. One up. Come on, go up there. There we go. Try to get in the right spot. There we go. Okay, I do believe, yep, we have one more. Shouldn't take us too long. We're getting good at this. Come on, don't do this to me. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and fill this in at the tippity top. And this is not too, too hard. There's one more stage that we can do on this. Always like to go around. That way we can reach all sides. It's one stage after we get done with this. See, now we can reach all sides. Makes it a bit easier. Go. Look at that, we're filling it in. Now it is time to put the holes in the salt shaker. Yes, and I usually like going from the corner, going in one. Try not to fall all the way through. Do the same on all four corners. And then you can work your way in like so come on but for those who like to put in the little thing the little wind things that that shoot you in the air sometimes I think it would be a good idea in the middle of your your base you, if you was wanting to put this in and try not to take out all your blocks that you've already done um, we're gonna go put a, put put a block there do another one over here 
like so. Again, try not to fall like I always do. And as you can tell, I've, I've already messed this up, but you, you kind of get the idea. <laughs> But you want in the middle. You want to take this, and you're gonna put your your uh, your four blocks down below, and then make a little tunnel going up. That way, you can go into your cornerstone, fly away in this thing, and be off, off and away. But guys, we're done. That's it. That's the salt shaker right there. As you can see, it is pretty snazzy. Nice little salt shaker. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Hopefully, I didn't confuse you guys too too much. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure you please like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Also, hit that bell. That way you can see when the next uh, Trove video, Cornerstone tutorial I do, it'll pop up in your list. Since they don't send you emails anymore, so you have to hit that bell. Until next time, catch you guys later. Goodbye.